Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Disney Dining Show. I am Rhino, joined this week by Hannah and Chloe, and we are here at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World, just outside of Jacques Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Now, uh, this uh, experience today, it's going to be a little bit more than a Disney snack attack, but a little bit less than a sit-down dining review because we felt like we wanted to start conquering and exploring more of those bars and lounges. Who has the best happy hour at Disney Springs? Things like that stuff where you're like you know what I just need a little bit of a treat or a sit down a refresh a cocktail an app a tapa style environment and uh, so this is the in-between I don't want to call it that but we'll figure out a better name maybe in the future uh, before we get started on today's uh, event I just want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do is brought to you by dreams unlimited travel they are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation when you book with them it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce so check Check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com for a free, no obligation quote today. Also, it is brought to you by our Patreon supporters. If you want to learn more about how you can get exclusive content from different members of the Diz team, including our live Tuesday post show, it gets a little crazy over there, you can head over to patreon.com slash disunlimited today. So thank you to all of our supporters out there, uh, Patreon and otherwise, we appreciate you. But uh, yeah, I was going through our YouTube channel and the podcast feed trying to see see uh, the last time that we did some uh, what we've done and the last time we did it at Disney Springs and I can't believe it but I don't think we've done a video about hangar bar since like Steve Porter and I were in a video and it was seven years ago and it made me sad watching it because one I miss Steve Porter two I look so much thinner and happier. Uh, no, but I am super thrilled here today to be here with Hannah and Chloe and having this experience. And you know, this is one of those places where it is Indiana Jones, but it's like Indiana Jones adjacent, I feel like. Like they, if you go inside and you look hard, you're gonna see some like fun Easter eggs and everything. But I do feel like it's still like, if you didn't, it's like, if you know, you know, you know, like the young kids do with the, on their uh, reels and things like that. Uh, but for us, you know, we're just here because we want to see, is this a good place uh, to stop, grab a drink, share some apps, things like that. Uh, and we're going to tell you that today. Now, instead of standing out here and just continuing to talk in this sweltering humidity and heat, I think we're going to try and go inside, maybe get a little spot on the inside. So, so come on in with us, won't you? We are inside the restaurant, well, inside, outside the restaurant. So we went inside to Jacques Lindsay's hangar bar because you have to, uh, you got to seat yourself all aboard, seat yourself, said something like that at the front. Um, and people were spaced out just enough that there was nowhere to sit and enjoy the air conditioning. But we are outside on the uh, outdoor patio with some great views. We've got made some friends with the local crows that are here. A murder, if you will. There's been a murder at Jacques Lindsay's. Um, but uh, this has great views of Disney Springs and there are a lot of fans out here and we took the big table near the second bar out here behind the pirate ship area. It's not a pirate ship, whatever it is. Um, and uh, we're in a little bit of a wind tunnel, which is great. So, or it has been great. I feel like it's starting to die down a little bit. So we look a little shiny. I apologize if you're watching this and you're like, oh man, boy oh boy are they shining today. Um, for my drink, I went with Jacques Old Fashioned. This is $18. It is Knob Creek Disney Single Barrel Bourbon, Contro Liqueur, Simple Syrup, and Angostura Orange Bitters. It's got a cool, like, sideways slanted glass here. Um, it does have maraschino cherries in it, which I feel like is always a big no-no for me with um, Old Fashions, because those are for ice cream, not for drinks. Or, well, they are for drinks, but they're for, like, a 7 and 7 or, like, a Shirley Temple, um, which is fine, whatever. Um, but it, it did get served with a bunch of ice and I feel like that watered down the drink a little bit and made it not as well balanced or mixed um, and then once I mixed it back up with my knife I felt like it was a little bit on the sweeter side um, for me but it did have that Knob Creek Disney single barrel bourbon if you're not familiar that is like Disney's signature bourbon here um, and that usually is a little bit of an upcharge so I think that's why it was like 18 versus maybe like 16 but I still feel like that was a fairly decent price for that type of because that can get if you go to like uh, Steakhouse 71 they have it in a drink there and that's an upcharge pretty substantial upcharge to use it in some of their drinks but um, did I enjoy it it was fine would I get it again I think I would try something different I think I'd recommend you try something different but uh, I'm curious to uh, hear what uh, Chloe and Hannah had to say about their drinks I got the orange tangerine frozen margarita. It is $18. It has Patron silver tequila, orange tangerine syrup, Minute Maid lemonade garnished with citrus. 
and table salt. Um, it was pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Uh, it's tasty for a frozen margarita. Uh, I'm not a fan <clears throat> of the table salt. I wish it had like that thicker margarita salt on the side to kind of help balance out the sweetness. I don't think I'd get it again. And I honestly, I don't think I would recommend it even for one go. For my drink, I got the Scottish professor. You might have heard of him. He's Henry Jones Sr. It's made with monkey shoulder blended malt scotch whiskey. Hendrix Gin, Pear Nectar, Simple Syrup, and Fresh Lemon Juice for $16. I was intrigued about the combination of whiskey and gin, two things that I like. Um, and then I figured with a fresh lemon, that might be a little bit more refreshing. It was honestly kind of weird, but I should have known that because you definitely, the combination of the gin and the whiskey with the pear, it almost tastes a little like medicinal. But I was looking it up and I think this is a fan favorite of a lot of people. I think too, so there's no ice in it. And because we're sitting outside, it got warm pretty quickly. So there is potential here. It wasn't overly sweet, um, but I still don't think I can, I can recommend it. But yeah, what, what more can I say? Just maybe get something else, I don't know. So for our food items, there's a bunch of different selections on here. There's light bites, Fräulein's flatbreads, and some Tanny's tacos. Uh, also, there are signature non-alcoholic drinks as well, if that's something that you'd be interested in. Um, I always appreciate when they have that on the menu. Um, but there's a, like four of those, Teddy's Tea, Poisonless Dart, the Diving Bell, and the Antidote. So they're all kind of fun, like little signature things. Um, but yeah, we needed some food and uh, my vote since I'm gonna I'm just gonna describe it all for you my vote was the chicken on the egg for $15 this is fried chicken devil eggs and hot honey sauce and then we also got the air pirates cargo loaded pretzel for $22.50 this came with prosciutto sliced brats artisan salami smoked cheddar black diamond cheddar caraway pickles spicy mustard and a beer cheese fondue again that was $22.50 and then uh, we also went with one of the flatbreads. Chloe lobbied very heavily for the Medjool date and Manchego for $9.25. This was described as frise. Crispy prosciutto, red onion, and a balsamic glaze. Again, $9.25 for that one. Um, my thoughts on the three of these uh, are that the chicken on the egg was the winner. Again, I'm probably biased a little bit because I picked it. Um, but I feel like the crispy, like little bits of fried chicken on the deviled eggs, you got um, six portions of the deviled egg so it was great for the three of us we each got two we each got our own little egg um, and little two little little nuggies on there this was good I really enjoyed um, the like the contrast of the texture with the fried chicken and the deviled egg uh, I thought that was really good I felt like if you're worried about the hot honey sauce I didn't particularly think it was uh, I thought it was light on the hot part of it but it was definitely there um, but I definitely have a I feel like a duller palette when it comes to spicy stuff so that for me is definitely I would recommend that's something I would come back and I would definitely get again um, I felt like the air pirates like cargo loaded pretzel I feel like the pretzel today was a little hard on the outside and a little stale on the inside so we didn't eat a lot of that I appreciated like the the selection of meats and everything that came with it but 22.50 it was not that um, and then also so the uh, Majul Date Manchango for $9.25, I mean, at Disney Springs, at a lounge. Uh, Price-wise, I'm like, it's fine. It was very tiny, um, and it was a little too sweet for my taste. I felt like the dates combined with the balsamic glaze were just, like, leaving me with, like, way more than a, a like, a way sweeter than I expected. But here's the thing. If there is prosciutto on a pizza, mama's going to order it. Okay, so I'm not upset with the selection we made. I just, I think for me, the only one that I would definitely recommend and be like, you gotta get it when you come here, if you come here, chicken on the egg. But now let me let, let me let, let me let Hannah and Chloe tell us about what they thought about the meals. Hannah, what do you think of the food? I have mixed opinions that are similar to Rhino's. The chicken on the egg was so good. I will definitely come back and get that. Honestly, I don't come here very often anymore. Like when it first opened, definitely did. I always come here during the holidays when they have the holiday overlay. I think that's awesome. But the chicken on the egg, I will definitely, next time I'm here, that yeah. is like 
I will absolutely get that again. Um, I feel like everybody's doing hot honey right now. Like that's like the hot new thing. Everything's hot honey it's chicken. Trendy. It is trendy. And I love a novelty. So it coming on that little wooden plane, it was like a little toy on the table for me. It was that just is like true. Do the sound effect. Around. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And it was delicious. It was really, really good. Yeah. I would definitely get those again. So we say that's my number one? It's definitely yeah. my number one. Number one. But of the three sure. that we ordered, definitely my number one. Yep. Yeah. What's your number two? That's a tough one. You know, the loaded cargo pretzel, the price point is very high. Mm -hmm. And for that price, I wish the pretzel was better. Yeah. It's very dry and just kind of bland and boring. Mm -hmm. um, the Things are loaded within it. We're pretty tasty, but I need a good bread to pair with that. It's a charcuterie pretzel board. Like it should be yeah. a good pairing, but um, I guess that's my number two. All right, I yeah. Think, yeah. I think, think my number two is actually gonna be the flatbread. Yeah, just because, so when it came out, it was tiny, but I should have known because it was $9 at a Disney restaurant, you know, like, Anywhere else, nine dollars for a flatbread, you would get more of like a personal pizza size. Yes. I feel like. Yeah. But here at Disney, I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. Um, overall, I liked it. I feel like Rhino did. It was like a little too sweet. Yeah. So um, I would have maybe maybe like more prosciutto, less date would have been all it needed. I agree. I it was honestly, close. my piece that I had was one of the middle pieces, which had a good you know yeah. distribution of every topping. But I don't remember much of the prosciutto, and mm -hmm. I ended up taking a lot of my dates off because it was oh, too sweet and yeah. too thick with them and I'm not a huge date fan. Gotta but. clear that calendar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't like those dates, Too many man. dates. And then the washing your hair and doing you yeah. know, other important things. Yeah. Um, but I think I'd rather try other things on the menu. The chicken on the egg is the clear yeah. winner, I think, across the board for us. For sure. But yeah. Can I want to come back on? though. Oh yeah? Yeah. Maybe during I also the holidays? here in a bit. Yeah. 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 That would be what make it a date. Yes, um, I'll add that date to my calendar. Can I ask you to give a shout out to Baseline Tap House? For the same price, mm. I think you could get their pretzel, which is always delicious. It's less. And is a like beer. 17 or 18. Right, but you could get that and a beer, I bet, for $22. Yeah. yeah. Less than that. Yeah. That's insane. So that's what you should do, ladies and gentlemen. I know this has more going on with it, obviously, with the cheese and everything. But um, yeah, I, the, the pretzel is so stale and so bad that. I mean, can we just pants this pretzel really quick? Is that, are, am I allowed to do that? This is um, after. Yeah. <laughs> I normally don't leave bread on the yeah, table no. like this. Yeah, no. I don't want to speak for everyone else, but I don't think this is common for us. Okay, so, yeah. you know. No, no. And Catch you a baseline. <laughs> Which, so would you recommend here, would you recommend coming to Scott Plenty? If you're in Disney Springs and you want a little themed bar experience, yes. I like that. If you don't feel like getting on the standby list for Trader Sam's at Polynesian, yes. Other than that, stand by. I would come here if you could get a table inside and you were looking to get just one drink, one appetizer, not make it a whole thing, you know? Yeah. Also, Christmas time here is so good. Like the decorations they do. So if you're if you're here during the holidays, that gets an extra vote from me. But yeah. otherwise, we love a holiday overlay. Mm -hmm. We need more of those. We do. Yeah. Oh yeah. On a mansion, I'm looking at you. Muppets. Muppets. <laughs> Muppets. Yeah. Muppets on the mansion. <laughs> yeah. That is going to do it for our experience here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Um, ultimately, our total for the three drinks, the three food items, came out to 105.17, and then plus tips. So uh, it's not an inexpensive place to be. And I don't know. I, I think if you were to ask me, would you recommend it? I think it's tough because for me, I feel like Jock Lindsay's has sort of, uh, I want to say run its course, but I was trying to think of like a funny flying thing, like flown its course. Yeah. Um, so. I, I I don't know, it, it feels a little tired to me, but our server on the way out told us that apparently starting on August 7th, there is gonna be a little bit of a menu refresh, but they will be keeping the uh, deviled eggs and the um, loaded pretzel. So at least we got two out of the three that are staying. And I, and I feel like we got more or less some signature drinks. So those will probably still be around, but we might have to come back and check out the new menu. Um, and since Hannah and Chloe talked about the Christmas season so much, the 
the holiday season, we'll probably have to come back for that too. Um, but that's gonna do it. I think, would I recommend it? I feel like right now in the current uh, Disney Springs political climate, uh, that there are a lot of really good dining options here right now. Um, in terms of this being a lounge, it, I feel like for me, it's like kind of right in the middle. I'm not really as excited about it as I used to be. I feel like I've kind of had my, my go of it, but if you've never been and you are like a huge Indiana Jones fan, I think maybe it's worth trying. I mean, there's some fun little Easter eggs around here, like the idol is inside of the restaurant it went somewhere from Raiders of the Lost Ark. But it, it, even then, it's like so Indiana Jones adjacent, I feel like, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's also not like, it's, I, I don't, I don't know that you're really gonna get anything really out of it. So I'm kind of in the mid for that, but uh, I'd, be, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. So if you are watching this on YouTube, please leave us some comments if you're listening to this. Well, I don't know how you get the thoughts to us somewhere, the internet or somehow, um, but we'd love to hear from you too. So if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that bell and you get notified whenever we have any sort of content. And if you are listening to this, please feel free to rate and review this whenever you can. Uh, and uh, we'd love some feedback on that. But thank you everybody. Thank you, Hannah and Chloe, for taking this uh, adventure with me at Jacques Lindsay's Hangar Bar here at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World. Don't forget about Dreams Unlimited Travel when booking your next Disney vacation. And a big shout out and a big thank you to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do it without you. That is gonna do it for me. It's time to uh, whip on out of here. No, nope, hated that. Yummy, yummy.